does your dynamic differential location privacy ever just feel too impersonal? Um, well, our next speaker will be able to help you out. Uh, uh, Leigh Yu from uh, the Georgia Institute of Technology will be uh, explaining uh, their system for performing uh, dynamic differential location privacy with, with personalized error bounds. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you very much. In this work, we study the limitation of existing solutions and for the protecting location privacy and uh, propose a location obfuscation framework that achieve differential privacy with adaptive noise level to different locations. Okay. So today, the wide popularity of a GPS enabled mobile device is driving the rapid growth of location-based services and applications. The service provider actually can keep track our locations in real time to provide instant and personalized service. On the other hand, this creates serious privacy uh, issues because our location data can be privacy sensitive. The anniversary, besides a stalking, actually anniversary can infer our political view and uh, alternative lifestyle and medical conditions based based on our location data. So, sorry. So, to protect our location privacy, you can think of doing uh, anonymization, but it, it has been shown not sufficient to protect location privacy. And also, it often requires a trusted third party anonymization server in current architecture. Another approach to protect location privacy is to do location obfuscation. It simply use a fake location to replace the true location. When you want to find the nearest restaurant, a fake location is sent to the service provi uh, provider, the server, and the server will return a list of restaurants nearby the fake locations. The ne restaurant list will be filtered locally to get the nearest restaurant near to your real location. The fake locations are generated randomly following a probability distribution condition on your real locations. It's, but it, this advantage is it may degrade your service quality because the restaurant list returned uh, from the server is the restaurant nearby the fake location. It may that does not contain, it can not contain your, uh, the nearest restaurant nearby your real locations. But its advantage is it's user-centric. Every person can independently perturb his locations and the noise level is totally in his control. And also it can run totally on the client side, which can be easily implemented in mobile applications. So in this paper, we focus on the location of obfuscation. To design such kind of mechanism, Actually, there are several basic quest, uh, questions we need to consider. First, how to measure the location privacy provided by a location obfuscation mechanism? What kind of privacy notion we should use? And uh, how do we randomly transform the real locations to the fake locations? And uh, how do we minimize the utility loss? So today, there have been two main private solutions have been proposed, uh, expected inference error and the geo inequality. For expected inference error, it assumes the adversary has some prior knowledge about the user's real locations, which is represented by prior, uh, prior distribution. After observing a fake location reported by the user, uh, the Adversary can get a posterior distribution over the, the whole location data set, and based on that, to esti estimate the user's location. So, expected inference error actually measures location privacy by the expect expected distance between the user's real location and the uh, location guessed by the anniversary. Another privacy notion is the geo indivisibility. This concept is derived from the differential privacy. 
basically it is which does not make any assumption about the adversary's priori knowledge. In existing work, basically it says within a circular area, any two points within this, this area, they have some uh, similar probability to, to be transformed to a fake location, to the same fake location. So the second figure shows uh, the case in the one-dimensional um, scenario. Two closed point X1 and X2. The distribution for generated fake locations, these two probability distribution, you can see they're very close. Actually, they are the similarity between the two distributions are ensured by the uh, bounded ratio e to epsilon. Compare these two different, uh, different um, privacy notions. You can see expected inference error actually assume some priori, uh, prior distribution of the anniversary for the user's real location. It will be not robust against the adversaries with any other kind of priori distribution or knowledge. Right? So you may think geo-inequitability because it does not make any assumption on the prior information. So it can be more robust than expected inference error. But in our work with you, any knowledge regardless of any prior can be insufficient for protecting location privacy and the inefficient in utility. So our work, we study the limitation of your inequitability and uh, propose a two-phase location obfuscation framework that incorporate the prior information into geo-inequitable mechanism. And to achieve adaptive noise level for different locations with guaranteeing a minimum level of inference error. And also we want customizability, which we want to allow the user to instantly specify his different privacy requirement for the different locations. But uh, this feature is not well supported in the existing mechanism. So in our paper, we study two typical mechanisms that use the, these two different privacy notions. One is optimal vision mechanism, one is your English ball mechanism. So we consider a user with location trace over 50 regions and build a priori uh, prior probability over these 50 regions. And we compare these two mechanisms. Uh, we simulate the, uh, the user run two mechanisms over these 50 regions and uh, simulate the attack from the adversaries. And uh, we measure the average inference error over each region. We can find in isolated regions, actually, the geoinequitability can have very low inference error to the anniversaries. To give you a more intuitive e explanation, we consider two types of area. One is in uh, urban area, one is uh, in an uh, uh, isolated island uh, in the sea. You can see all we run a Laplacian mechanism, which is a differentially private mechanism to generate fake locations. You can see all these fake, uh, fake locations in the first figure because it's in the urban area, the, all these locations seem uh, plausible. But for the second figure, all these fake, lo fake locations appear in the area. There are almost zero probability for any person being there. So look, except that's island, right? So the adversary for the second scenario, it can, uh, he can easily correlate these fake locations with users' real locations. But uh, for the first scenario, he cannot. So you may think you can add more noise to the uh, second scenario when the user is in the isolated locations. But unfortunately, most existing mechanisms, they consider uniform noise level over everywhere, which means when you add more noise in, for the second skewed case, you also introduce unnecessarily excessive noise for the first case, which actually hurts the utility. So the reason for geoinequitability have such difficulty is because it doesn't consider any priori, uh, prior information here. Actually, prior information for loca location data is actually, can be easily get, uh, get from a public 
available information like a population density uh, checking data set or map. The adversary can have this uh, prior information to possibly degrade the privacy protection provided by geo-inequality. So it's desired to have a damptive noise level for the geo-inequality according to the what kind of priori, uh, prior distribution they have in the area. So our work, how to achieve adaptive noise level uh, according to the priority distribution. Uh, we achieve that by combining the two different private notions, uh, expect inference error and geoinquibility with our two-phase framework. It's giving the priority distribution and uh, the minimal inference error specified by the user. We first search our uh, protect region. This protect region is used to hide the is real uh, user's true locations. After finding this region, based on this region, we run a exponential mechanism which uh, can achieve epsilon differential privacy to generate the fake locations. So one of our, our contributions in this paper is we studied the relationship between two different privacy notions. We found the low bound for the geo on the expected expected inference error for the anniversaries who has some prior, uh, prior knowledge. Based on this low bound relationship, we have such a theorem. Basically, it says for a location of fabrication mechanism that achieve epsilon differential privacy on the protection location set, if this reaching the location set is, you can see the formula is giving a metric for this region. If this metric no less than e to epsilon multiply em, actually the it expected inference error is not bounded by em. So given that if user specifies the lower bound for the inference error, then we just need to search a region that have this metric no less than e to epsilon um, times em. With finding such a region, actually, it guarantees the lower bound for the expected inference error. So to find this region, we propose a Hilbert curve-based searching. The Hilbert-based curve, curve based searching is Hilbert curve is transformed two dimensional uh, points to one dimension. So and while it's able to keep the proximity of that points. So based on Hilbert curve based searching, we can find such region efficiently. And it was to note a large diameter protection region indicate a higher noise level. So our algorithm design actually aimed to find such a region with a diameter as small as possible, including using techniques um, with multiple rotated Hilbert curves. You can read our paper to look into the detail of our algorithm. After finding this region, we can just use the exponential mechanism. It's a simple uh, probability comput uh, computation. We just need the diameter of this protect region and the current locations. And uh, with the probability proportional to this uh, exponential uh, parameters uh, to sample the whole data set, whole location data set, and produce a zero location. So we compare ours with existing mechanism on the location privacy. We especially interested in the isolated part. You can see, combine these two figures. One is uh, measures the uh, average inference error. One is measures the uh, variation inference attack success probability. On these two, on the isolated regions, 48 to 50, you can see we perform better than existing result. And also, there's another solution which also have this idea combine different privacy notions. But uh, it requires carefully tuning the pri noise parameters to avoid such a problem. If without carefully tuning the parameters, it also suffers the problem and this isolated regions. 
because our mechanism allows the customizability for the users to specify different privacy requirements and the different locations, we compare our mechanism with uh, Laplacian mechanism on the utility loss previous uh, like optimal geo uh, mechanism and the optimal BH mechanism, they both globally minimize the quality loss. So they perform better than ours, but uh, ours uh, perform, okay, perform location, location of classification, not globally, but every time and for each location. So overall, you can see for the Laplacian mechanism, we have average uh, lower quantity uh, loss compared to it, and the smaller variance compared to it. This is because you can see for some dense area where a lot of plausible location around the real location, you can use just a small noise to hide your real location. But for the larger location, you know, for the urban uh, suburb area, you just need a large noise level. But here, Laplace mechanism just assume uniform noise level for every place. So that's why it has a higher utility loss. So basically, our contribution is we take into account the priori information into the geoinquisibility to address its issues, to achieve adaptively adjust the noise level of different privacy according to this priori prior distribution. And, and sometimes we allow the users to customize its privacy parameters and different locations and different time easily. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>